Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this episode of the Spaceship Shooter series, we're going to be adding the boss and getting some hit points being deducted from the enemies. Let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> The very first thing we want to do is when we shoot an enemy, we want to make sure that we take away some hit points. So let's load up the object enemy, which is our parent. Let's add a new event. And what we want to do is go into the collision event, go into objects, and then we want the object player bullet. Now in here, let's play a sound whenever we collide with the enemy. We have a bunch of different sounds that we can choose from. So let's choose one randomly by using the choose function. Now, because we're using a newer version of Game Maker 2022, I'm going to use a function that we're gonna write and that's gonna damage our enemy. We're gonna come back around to this in just one second here. The final thing that I wanna do is destroy the laser. So I'll use an instance destroy and I'm gonna be destroying the other. Remember, if we look at our workspace, the other is gonna be the object that we're colliding with. So in this case, the other is a laser, so we're making sure that we destroy it. Now, I did say that we needed to write this particular function here. So let's go to the create event and maximize it. We'll go to the bottom of the create event and let's start off with our function itself, which is a damage and it is going to take an amount. What we are going to do is we are going to subtract that amount from the hit points. And then we can check to see if the hit points is less or equal to zero, meaning that our enemy should be destroyed. And then again, let's randomly choose an explosion sound. We're going to put it on the sound hits. And we're also using some of the new functionality in the game maker where we can assign the gain already in the audio play sound. The final thing that we need to do here is just destroy the enemy itself. So what's going to happen is whenever the enemy touches one of the lasers, the laser is going to need a damage, so let's go and apply that. So we'll open up the player bullet here, and in the create event, let's add a new variable called damage, and let's set it to a global damage variable. This is coming from the initialization object, and this is just set up in case we have power-ups or something like that. So back to the enemy, when we pass the damage in, it's gonna to come to the crate event and run this function, and it's gonna decide whether or not to destroy the actual enemy itself. So let's go ahead and let's test this out quickly. Let's destroy a few enemies in our wave. So with that working perfectly, we can now start on the boss phase. Let's open up the crate event, the step event and the draw event and we might as well open up the player bullets even though it's empty the boss is set up to have a movement state and a shooting state and they can interact separately you can see here we have a position y of 104 so what i want to have happen is if we go to the room and we go to the main room the boss is going to come down from above and then it's going to go into the position of 104 which is roughly around here and it will just fade in. You can see here on line nine, our movement state is already set to the boss intro. So let's make sure that we go to the step event and we use a switch statement on the movement state to determine what our actual state is. Now, the only one that we care about in this video is gonna be the intro state itself. If you're wondering where these come from, you can middle click on the boss state and you can see that I have an enumerator script here where we have the sounds, we have the boss state here, and then we have the shooting states. We go back to the step event. If we are in the intro state, what we want to do is have our Y position lurk to the position Y, which is our final position over time. Now to move to the next state, we can write a simple if statement, basically saying if the current position minus the position we're going to is equal to zero, then we know that we can switch states. So that means that we'll set our movement state to phase one. Now let's close this and open up our spawner. Inside the spawner, click on the create event and maximize it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of all my items that I have here spawning in. And then I'm just gonna copy one of them and paste it below for the boss. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't wanna have to go through all the different enemies while I'm waiting for the boss to come in. I'm gonna change the object that it needs to spawn into the boss and I'm gonna set the number to one. I wanna set my Y position to something a little bit higher, like minus 256, and we're gonna set the X position to the middle of the room. Since we are only spawning in one boss, we don't need to add anything to the X and Y location. Now let's run our game and see what happens. Then five seconds of moving around, we should have a boss come in and just slightly come down, and now we're in phase one and ready to go. I think this is a good spot to end this tutorial. We've added in some enemies being hit. We have shooting working. And the next part will be getting the boss phases to be shooting at us and actually damaging our ship. 
Thank you for watching the video. A special shout out to my patron supporters in no particular order. Game Maker Community, Jerrica, Victor, Robert, Mary, David, Edward, Ashby, and Paul. If you like what you see on my channel, why not leave a like or even subscribe? If you're looking for more content, check out my Patreon site found in the description below. Thank you.